Hi, it's Pastor Bob here with today's word about our upcoming worship for this Sunday, July the 14th. Now, many of us are away this time of the year. Maybe you're watching this and worshiping online while you're away. We are thankful to have this gift of video equipment here as a way to bring worship outside the walls of our sanctuary to those who are unable to be here in person each week. I, this was my first career. This is a comfortable place for me to sit here, but you know, the technology has changed so much since I was in this business that I don't even pretend to know what to do with this. All I know is that miraculously, every Sunday it works. There's a video on our internet, on YouTube, thanks to Cindy and to Matt and to all the other people who work so diligently to get that to happen each week. And I'm sure you're pleased as well because you can worship when you're away and not in the sanctuary. This week's gospel reading has Jesus not in it. Jesus doesn't appear at all in this gospel reading. It's about John the Baptist and unfortunately his end at the hands of Herod Antipas. He's the local political ruler of that place and time. It's strange for us to not have a word about Jesus as part of our gospel reading, especially since Jesus has been so active in all the gospel readings we've had thus far this year. And Mark, he's really moving and shaking. We have that word immediately appearing in the gospel reading so often. Jesus is, is busy, he's healing, he's calming storms, he's casting out evil spirits, he's sending the disciples out to share in his work. But is Jesus totally absent in this week's gospel reading? This awful story about his cousin John's earthly end. Well, I invite you to worship this coming Sunday, 8.15 at Augustana, 9.30 here at Emmanuel. Come in here, come and see, come and eat and drink at Jesus' meal, at Jesus' invitation for forgiveness for life, and then go out to live and share and serve. See you then.